What up, y'all? This is your boy DMV Ken the Neo Simmon. We are playing Mike Tyson's Punch Out, and guess who just entered the chat? Takashi69. Takashi, what up, dude? Hey, what's the vibes, nigga? Why you acting like I ain't outside? Niggas missed me and all that? You know, the king is back and all that? Ha <laughs> ha, the king. Hey, my man, you've been on a tear since you got out. You've been on this get back tour spazzing on everybody, man. All these rappers mention my name for clout, and that's a fact. Whether you like it or not, you're going to be like, no, but, the, but you did it for When rappers mention my name, they're looking for clout. Niggas said they wanted the 069 back. It's a lot of disrespect. Well, fam, you hitting the ground running. You have the number one rap album in the country right now. How does that feel? You know why people so mad? Because... They thought it was over for me. They counted me out. Oh, yo, you, yo, you ratted, da, 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 it's over for you. Y'all could never, y'all could never cooperate with the government and come back. So you've been going hard at Meek Mill and just recently started targeting Dirk. How long do you let these problems go on until you let up? Why was nobody saying to Meek Mill, leave him alone, leave him alone, yo, all right, he's already going through that. Why nobody was saying leave him alone? But now if I do it, it's, ooh, stop, stop, stop. No, for two years, he kept antagonizing me. I couldn't even defend myself. But now, now I, I fucking tear him up for the whole two years that I couldn't defend myself when I was arrested. Why is there a problem now? Why was nobody seeing him? What happened? It's too much? Let me know. You know who the big show? So, Takashi, I see you out here flexing hard, man. What does those first week numbers look like anyway? Look at, the, look at these 1.6 million. Shout out to Tory. Shout out to Drake. Shout out to Bad Bunny. Y'all niggas can never stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Look at this. 1.6 million. 1.6 million. So 6ix9ine, what do you say to those folks that say you're only acting tough because you have a fleet of security around you? I'm going to keep security with me. Y'all ain't going to R.I.P. me, nigga. Y'all not going to put me on the t-shirt. You heard? I let y'all niggas be gangster. I let y'all niggas be gangster because y'all be too gangster for me. I've been holding my tongue because I said, you know what? Niggas getting kicked in y'all face, all type of shit. You gotta be shitting me, you are? So Takashi, you're trolling and saying a lot of offensive things to some street certified people. Right now you have money, but eventually that will slow or even stop. And some of the things that you're saying and you're doing may eventually catch up with you in the future. Does that bring any discomfort or concern to you? Like I said, man, I'm comfortable how I am, man. It's my life. I will never live my life in fear. I'm going to leave that to y'all niggas. I'm going to leave that to y'all niggas living y'all life in fear. Getting hit all in y'all shit. Rest in peace to the fallen soldiers, but that's on y'all. So, Takashi, you're winning right now. You came out. You proved all your haters wrong. You're at the top. Is it necessary to brag, to be so braggadocious about being at the top and stunting on those below you and making fun of them? Yes. And I say, and I say, and I say yes, because when you don't got it, they clown you. But when you do got it, oh, but you would it. It's always an excuse. Listen, listen, perfect example. Mayweather could knock out 42 and be 42 and 0. You know what they're going to say? But you always running. The moment he gets knocked out, what happens? You got knocked out. What happened? I thought you was a legend. I thought you was this. You can't win. So you got to get made fun of. I'm going to make fun of you because if I lost, you would have been making fun of me. Fuck out of here. I'm number one. You can't make fun of me. Man, Takashi, you passionate about this, ain't you, bro? Yeah, I'm just, if you're going to make, if you're going to try to come at the king, I'm going to... I'm gonna 17k you. So Takashi, I know this is special to you because you're just getting out, you're proving all your haters wrong, but you have had number one hits in the past. Why is this one in particular so special or more special than the others? You know, if, and, and just say like, <clears throat> cause I'm very humble. Like people don't know that, but in person, like I'm a very humble person, right? There's something called radio. I got a number one with no radio. Let me address this, right? When you get a number one, right? And it stays number one. It don't stay number one because it's not because you're hot. Nobody listens to the radio. But these old heads, these music executives try to hold on to the radio so much in 2020. It's 2020 and we're still talking about radio. This ain't 1980s. This ain't the 1990s. People stream. They have Apple Music. They have Spotify. Fact. 
Nobody is in a pandemic listening to radio. Interesting. So if no one's listening to the radio anymore, why are record executives still paying out radio stations to play their artist songs? I know that they have analytics departments and also marketing departments. I'm pretty sure that the numbers are telling them like a lot of radio stations are starting podcast divisions. Why are they still paying out if radio is no longer a thing? Let me tell you this, right? In a pandemic, coronavirus pandemic, there's no parents taking their kids to school every day. Parents are not going to work unless they got essential jobs. And I think for the fans, fans are never going to understand this, right? If you don't have your label, which is Atlantic, Interscope, Columbia, Republic, Epic, 300, uh, UMG, Universal. If you don't have your label investing into radio, like spin our record, spin our record, spin our record, spin our record. And keep... Put paying the radio to spin your record, you'll never see your favorite artists like that really go into mainstream because the labels are not putting money into them. So Takashi, hip hop has labeled you as a snitch. They've counted you out. They've doubted you, apparently canceled you. Yet you've come back more popular than ever. What do you say to your critics and those that don't want to see you win? We can't beef. Me and y'all not the same. Well, he winning right now, yo. Yo, how y'all let that kid rap, right? How y'all let him rap and come home to beat? Still get more numbers than us. Break all the records. Why y'all let... Y'all can't stand it or something? Y'all can't stand it. Y'all can't... Listen, you live your you live your whole life, right? You live your whole life trying to be a real nigga. And, and, and this is me. This is real Danny shit. Fuck 6 9 right? This is some Daniel Hernandez shit. You live your whole life trying to be a real nigga, trying to be a stand-up, tall, loyal guy. To try to shit on a kid like me, to be like, yo, fuck that, he's a rat, he's a rat, he's a rat, he's a rat. To be like, yo, he ratted, because no matter how much dirt y'all throw on my name, no matter, and I've seen everything. Everybody want to be quiet now. For two years, y'all made fun of me, y'all done made memes of me, y'all done threw my name in the dirt. Whoa, whoa, Takashi, I'm not trying to get you upset, I'm just trying to find some middle ground to make peace in this situation. Nah, hit, hit me out. You can't sit there, you can't sit there. Listen, you can't sit there and not understand that if I didn't get the number one, I would have the biggest L in the in the world. So at the end of the day, no hate in my blood. It's just if you address me, I'm going to address you back. Well, Takashi, it has been a pleasure having you in the chat. As always, I'm going to turn the floor over to you to give the final word to the people. You got it. But I'm sorry, and, and now let me break it down. I'm sorry. I want to say that I'm sorry to my fans because you know what? It wasn't worth it. It wasn't. And I'm going to tell you what. If there is a street code, right? If there is a street code and there's something so, so called as loyalty and everything and no snitching and all of that, I get it, right? But where was the loyalty when you was sleeping with my baby mother? Where was the loyalty when you was caught on the wiretap trying to kill me? Where was the loyalty when you tried to kidnap my mother? Where was the loyalty when you were stealing millions of dollars from me? Where was that? So who broke it first? All right, I get it. Don't fight fire or fire. I'm sorry. But what did I do wrong? Be loyal to niggas that's fucking my baby moms? Be loyal to niggas that kidnapped me? Beat the shit out of me on video and everything? I'm supposed to be loyal to that. No, you know what? You know what it is? Y'all don't want to accept the fact that those is all true facts. Y'all don't want to accept. Y'all understand why I snitch. Y'all understand. Y'all don't want to understand.